Hello guys, welcome back to Join Coder. Today we talk about how to use programming language C Sharp Connect to Progress DB. So we need to create a small project. I use Visual Studio 2019. So I hope you enjoy with your version or your tools that you can upload 2010 or whatever you, you can test it. Go to create a new project and I choose video form and create. I will keep on my desktop and my project I put I write um, C sharp connects with uh, progress XUS. Okay, now we got a new form and new projects. So I rename this one to the main form. And I don't need anything right now. I just want to create a connection to show you how to connect or how it works. Actually, now we have a program in C -Sap, our project, like this. And we need to create the DB. And I have already DB already in here, a progress DB. So we need to have connection to it and transfer data or select or get data from PG to C -Sap. Actually, if we want to connect, we need to have a server's IP, SV, IP, and DB name, and users, users, and password, PWD. Okay, I hope you can clearly understand this. So, let's start, and then I will rise one by one. But firstly, we need to install a packet or library npng xul. Now I use version 5.0.4. So I will keep the link in the description below. Okay, so let me copy this. Or oh, I can open this one. I will copy from this one and install to my project. So I will use the no get here and pass here in test. So you will see the reverend is auto installed to here. NPG XUL. So let's start. Now I need a variable for assign connection. STR connection. I rise sorry. The format we need we have a servers equals and port. Port is very important too. And users ID, user for login, password and database name. Okay. I hope you already install or follow with what I show you already. So now I have a database already. So I start to connect directly and to put a parameter one by one. Example now I have a DB join coder here and the DB is under the server's progress 13. So I can rename this one to a server. Yeah. So I need to know the server connect with the local host or IP, which IP and port and username. So I have local host here, and I will copy and pass here. And I know my port here is equal 
114 time and my users I will I use progress okay I hope you can see this one and my password is love sorry I have some in here and my DB I want to connect to join coders so let me copy from that base here okay now we have a string servers I connect with the local and port and users for login to the database and password and database so let's start to create a small function for connect private and voice connection now I start to be an actual connection I write con and npg actual command I put vc MD. Okay. So now we need to assign or we need to create connection to the DB. We just declare like this. We not just connect or we not just assign. So I will put V con as the new NP connection. And vxcon dot connection string equals with str connection. I write detail like this because I worry you confuse the sort or something. But if you can write in a sort like copy here to into here also okay. So vxcon dot open. Sorry. Yes, weeks on dot open. Now I copy this one to here. Let to start to run and to test it works or not. Yes, it's it's work. Now connection is can connect, but we don't. We don't know if it can get data or not, or some we have permission to get data from database or not. We can test one more step. So, why I create here? We need to use some command to get the data. So, I create one more function private or public. Yeah. Place uh, data I assign data tables and get data. Sorry, get data and like this. And I will create data tables. And return DG. Okay. Here's I have actual string. So let's start. First, I need to get connection. Start to connection again. And okay, if we already open here, we need to check one more statement. If this con dot connection dot state equal connection state dot open sorry dot close we can open okay and we can start to create connection already and then we can create a comma to execute 
connection with connection v cmd dot connection equals v connection yeah and v cmd sorry v cmd dot command text equals actuals below okay and if I want to get the data back, I need to read. I need to declare a one more variable is data reader. So np nt xql xql reader. Okay, data reader is the os and equals v cmd dot readers. So we have connection, we have executors, and we want to return to data tables. After we have connection, and we have assigned a query to command, so we need a new variable is data reader, so npng xql readers, data readers, I declare dr equals cmd dot execute readers okay now after execute we can get a variable to here but i want to return to my data table in here so i put data table dot load from the ops data readers Okay, now DT have data. Okay, can test from here and then we can create uh, one button here. Yes, and I assign a name BTLs. Okay, one more thing is I get data review into here rename is dg data okay rename from here and then change the value sorry okay double clicks and then we start to use get the data so before you get let me check a query I have a data I have a table Login. Let me check. Start from to our users login. It's execute. Okay, I have to record right now. So I will start to put here get data and copy from this one. Yes, in two years and. Can start to run to test it have or not okay one more thing is because of it can return the data table I can get data equals news the data table yes and I put here equals okay double sorry dt get data duplicate if we get data it will get into our data tables here dt so let to run and then click ok ok can next Okay, we have a missing one more thing is we can we already create variable but we not just declare so we call new command okay okay let's run again and then click okay okay we can get that as here so after that, we can get a record into here. Mean connection, 
and get data now is successfully okay now we can get data into data table so we can assign to data review dg data dot data source equals dg get data okay and start to run again when you click ok data will be appear in here okay now connection is successfully and get data is successfully okay i hope this step is you can understand and follow step by step thank you for watching and we will continue to the next step